Now, what you can do if you wanted to give it a nice um, brushed finish, you can actually buy, you don't have to do this by the way, this is just for fun. You can actually buy these little scotch bright discs that are already loaded onto a pin and you can scratch up your surface. Now, I will load up one into our hand piece. All you do to give it a nice surface finish is you just load your scotch bright into there. There's different, um, different coarse, coarseness as well. And you're just going to run in a circular direction, small circles, all the way around the band. Now I know some people actually do this with the radial discs as well, uh, but they also pick up a little bit of final polish on their radial discs just to give it a bit of a shine as the texture is being applied. But I'll show you what we can achieve with just using this little bit of scotch bright. But it's super important in order to have a beautiful finish to actually clean it up properly, get it to a high polish and then work backwards. So that'll make the difference between potentially selling your work and not selling your work in some cases. So we're just running back and forth. Okay. So you can run side to side or round in circles. It doesn't really matter. It just depends how you would like your finish. I'll hold it up to the camera in a moment and you'll see what we can actually achieve. The tool just keeps cutting out because I'm hitting the wrong angle. Oh. Okay. So I'm just running around and around with the tool. These wear out pretty quickly, but I don't use them all that often. But they're a nifty little tool to have for adding surface texture. Okay, now I'll show you what we've achieved. So that is how I've transformed to a brushed finish. So that might actually allow the wearer to be able to get a little bit more longevity out of it by just having that different surface texture on the top. So I think that is it. But you can see the difference in, in quality between both, both of the rings. Yeah, your first one was good, but your second one's great. Exactly. Yeah. So that's, that's all the difference really, Peter. So, um, yeah, guys, if you're looking into getting into this as a hobby um, or a business, I truly recommend investing in all of the tools and gadgets because you won't regret it and it makes life a lot easier for everybody. So um, I hope that was enjoyable for you all, that I didn't bore you, but um, that pretty much covers all of the basics. Uh, if you do have any questions, just reach out to me at Madam Mac Jewelry. It's madam.mac underscore jewelry. I pretty much live on Instagram. I may as well change my address. <laughs> <laughs> but um, reach out if you have any questions or any comments. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for being here. Oh, Dana, on behalf of everyone, thank you so much. Uh, it may have been uh, longer, but I think it was important to see the processes and see the little issues you had along the way and how you resolve them. Definitely, and, uh, and that's why I kept that's why I kept the original rings a little bit scratched up on the wax carving itself, just to show you how to actually go about removing all mm. of those lines. So, um, yeah, look, it's an important part of the process, uh, mm. and yeah, it could be the difference, like I said, between selling your work and not selling your work, just based on the finish. So, yeah, I hope that's been helpful. Yeah, no, it has indeed. Lots of really great tips and tricks. Uh, Wonderful. So we've got a comment from Silver Burra who said, thank you very much, Dana. Uh, great. Uh, Barrett said, really appreciate your expertise and time. And yeah, so that's, that's a fantastic comments. Uh, Tigger Wonderful. said, thank you. So um, appreciative you, audience. And that's, that's just now, but into the future, they'll be appreciative as well because uh, this will be here to review later.
Fantastic. So yes, this will all be available on playback through all of the AJS socials. So if you missed it today, no worries, you can catch up at bedtime or whenever. But um, yeah, I had great, a great time. I'm exhausted now and I have to go and work a full day, but um, <laughs> oh, we'll manage. <laughs> You're a wonder woman. Oh, yeah. I try, I try. <laughs> So just for those who are watching, uh, uh, there are uh, more online demonstrations uh, in the can uh, coming up. So uh, stay tuned for those. And Dana, we'd love to have you back. You're an amazing communicator, amazing Thank at you. what you do, and uh, really appreciate your time and effort. Thanks so much. Thank you, Peter. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Contact me if you need help. I'm sure they will. Okay. Thank you very Thank much, you. Dana. Bye. Bye.